Hello guys, my name is Kelvin Gomez and I'm a Florida International University student and this is my project for ethical hacking class with Dr. Alexander Pons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an access point which is an, a Wi-Fi hotspot uh, without any passwords, any security. So when people or someone, right, when someone connects to my, to my hotspot, I will be able to analyze the data packets that they send and they receive from, from the internet by using Wireshark, which is a software, free software. So, uh, this is an alternative way for, for those who, tr who try to do who attempt to do um, evil twin, an evil twin attack, but they were they were not able to succeed by providing. They were not. It didn't work for them because they were not able to provide uh, internet to the to the client or victim. So, uh, I also want to mention that this this tutorial is only for educational purpose. You we were able. You feel free feel free to try it at your, in your own network, but not outside. Because once you try it outside, you could you it, this is illegal. This is an illegal. This is considered like actually uh, hacking into somewhere in someone else, and you could go to jail because of because of that. So the so let's start. The equipment that we need for this um, for this for this uh, for this tutorial for this program for this attack will be um, a, a switch mirror which is the one that I have is this one the the Netgear Pro Safe so which is which will be working as a router but the, the thing is like it, when when someone connects to my to this to, to my hotspot I will be able to see what he's doing by connecting a cable here uh, which will be connected to my PC so I'll be able to do this by uh, using Wireshark as well right so this is a switch mirror um, I'm going to use this which is like an antenna right this is TP link I have the Chinese version this has like four functions uh, I only was able to figure out the the their access point which is the one that we're gonna use for this tutorial but it also behaves as a router and and two more two more two more other versions oh. so and we also we're going to use Wireshark which is a sniffer is a packet sniffer application that monitors and captures data packets send and receive over a network so let's begin <clears throat> okay now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna connect um, our antenna right to our USB port right so we could turn on our computer our our antenna so now what we're going to do is we're gonna as well we're gonna connect the um, internet port right to the antenna and to our computer okay once we do that we're gonna go to um, control panel we're gonna look for network and internet then we go to network and sharing center and then we're gonna go to uh, the left column change adapter settings Okay, here we can see that um, our local area connection is, is identifying our, our antenna. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select it and then we're gonna click on properties. And then we're going to look for internet, internet protocol version four. So we select it and then we go to properties. And here in this window, we're gonna click use the following IP address. And we're gonna type this 192.168.110. We're gonna leave the sub subnet mask 
as it is and then we're going to do 192 168 1 1 ok so we're going to click ok I'm going to close this and now what are we going to do next we're going to go to internet explorer So we're gonna type 192, 168, 253. So here we are. So in this window, we're gonna type admin for the username and admin for the password. So we click OK. And here we are. We are in the um, in the TP Link uh, window, so we could configure our antenna. So our antenna has five functions. It has the AP source, AP AP access point, the router, the repeater, the bridge, and the client. So we're gonna select first the first option. We're gonna click on next. And on the SSID, what we're gonna do, we're gonna type our ID, I mean our name, the name that we want for our router, which in this case will be house 13. And we have the option to select um, to, 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 put, to create our Wi Fi hotspot with a password, or we could leave it unsecure, which is the one that we want for our network, our, our victims to connect. So we're gonna select that, and then we're gonna click next. And then in, in this in this part, we're gonna connect. We're gonna uh, select next. One more time, we click OK. And now it's configuring our antenna. So now we just wait a little bit. This this antenna is pretty good. It's, it has five functions. So, but the one that I was able to figure out was the AP, the access point. So, so yeah. Um, now this window is telling us that now uh, it's actually working. This is stable. So what we're gonna do next is minimize this. Uh, go to control panel. On um, network and internet, All right? Same thing, we're going to Network and Sharing Center, and then we're gonna look for Change Adapter Sense. And in our local area connection, we select it, we go to Properties, we choose the uh, Internet Protocol version 4, we click on uh, Properties, and then we're gonna set it as it was, the as, as it was before. We're gonna select the first option, make sure you select this one too. We're gonna click OK. Um, close. And now we are able. Now we can um, simply unplug our uh, the the internet port from the from from our computer. So we're gonna do that, right? Now we mean we close this. Okay. So what we're gonna do next? We're gonna um, use our the switch mirror. For the switch mirror, right? We're gonna connect um, our antenna to one of the mirror ports. So we're gonna connect it to one of them, right? And then in the internet part that we have here, uh, we're gonna connect our internet provider, right? Which is to here, which will be Comcast or Verizon, anyone, any any of those. We connect it here, and now we need a cable. From our from the PC from the switch, which is uh, to our computer, which we're gonna connect it right here, and it says PC. Okay, so we're gonna do that right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once we do that, <coughs> we we're gonna make sure right that this part right here 
we have we we create our 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 the Wi-Fi, the hot the Wi-Fi hotspot, which is home which is house thirteen. As as you guys can see, it is unsecure, and it has a plenty. It's like it has a, a excellent signal strength, right? So now we're gonna we're gonna go back, right? Um, to to our window, and then we're gonna go to um we're gonna look for Wireshark now. That's the next step. So Wireshark or okay, here is. So here in Wireshark, you're gonna you're gonna go to download. You're gonna click there, and then you're gonna select the Wireshark um, type that you need depending on your operating system. The one my operating system is um, uh, the 64-bit Windows 7. So I'm um, I already installed it. So you guys just could click on it and follow the steps. It's pretty simple, right? So I'm just gonna close this, <coughs> and then I'm gonna select Wireshark. I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open it, and right here I have this window. Right. So now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna connect from another computer to the uh, house 13 uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. So I'm just gonna go over and connect. Um, and now what I'm gonna do in my in Wireshark is like I'm is I'm going to go to capture, select interfaces, and then I'm gonna do the first option, local area connection, which is the one that is connected to the switch mirror, and 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 to the um, and to my internet port. So gonna select this and we're gonna click on start and now as we can see it's start is starting to capture data packets right so now that I'm connected I'm gonna look I'm gonna go to uh, internet okay I'm gonna go to Google I'm gonna look for some any website uh, Android, Android device, devices, another website just in case, um, online games, okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stop the capture, right, and now we're gonna look for to stop that the um, the websites that we went and uh, that the victim right in this case uh, the 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 client uh, went through using this uh, Wi-Fi hotspot right so we're gonna type HTTP and then we're gonna look for this the um, the website that I went through that I just did let me go. Okay. HTTP. It's a lot of data packets here. Okay, here, as you guys can see, uh, we have um, we have the the host, which is the and uh, the one that I was looking first, Android forums, right? Uh, that's the host. Here's the destination. Uh, net here which is my router um, my switch my mirror switch this is the source this is one that we found and yeah um, with this with this uh, with this tool uh, a pro hacker could actually um, uh, construct all the all the data packets and recreate them so he could uh, actually see what the victim or, or the other or the person was looking to the website so yeah I hope this helps um, and just a reminder this is only for um, educational purposes only so please do not try it outside okay uh, thank you
So yeah, this tutorial was um, for uh, was to make to create a Wi-Fi hotspot and use Wireshark to to uh, analyze data packets. Mm.